Hi, Colonel Greg Gadsden is a true U.S. war hero and has been for quite some time. In 2007, while serving as commander in the U.S. Army in Iraq, Gadsden was hit by a roadside bomb. That blast forced him, well, he survived, but he had, did have to lose both his legs. Now, five years later, Gadsden is starring in a Hollywood blockbuster film, Battleship. Watch. Nick. I got this. Wow, how Jody gets right now, he survived that too. Colonel Greg Gasson. Colonel, welcome to the couch. Thanks, Brian. Now, people know you as the, uh, one of the inspirational leaders of the Giants, going to be getting a Super Bowl ring a little bit later. They are the Super Bowl champions. But first things first, how does Colonel Greg Gadsden get in a major Peter Berg film like this? Well, you know, Peter Berg is a, a New Yorker and has been a New York Giants fan all his life. And so my relationship with the Giants, I think, put, uh, put me on the radar screen, at least kind of in the back of his mind. And then um, um, I was part of a, a small part of an article that National Geographic did in 2010 on advancements in prosthetics. And uh, Pete saw a picture of, of me in that article, and I think that's when he got the idea to cast me. So he said, you got to come down, you got to be in this movie. What was it like being on this cast of this huge production? It, um, well, I'm extremely blessed to have that opportunity. It was really, uh, it was really special. The, the whole crew and cast and everything were, were absolutely wonderful and, and uh, re really receptive to this non-actor me here uh, uh, being a part of the movie. Did you get a chance to save Brooklyn Decker? Was that extra inspiration? Because according to our staff, she's hot. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes, we... Uh, you can't we, give away the plot. I, I won't. We, we, um, we, we work together to, to, help, uh, to help perhaps save the world. How right. about that? Don't All give right. it away. Right. Now, Colonel, uh, bring us back to uh, your service. You're in Iraq. You were in the first Persian Gulf War. You're in the second one. It's, it's surge time. And you were coming back, I believe, from memorial service when your uh, Humvee was hit. In fact, you just showed us what was left of the Humvee. Uh, do, what do you remember of that? I, I remember very, uh, you know, very vividly. I, I was, uh, again, headed back to my headquarters when, uh, when the, there was this pop and a, and a flash. And before I knew it, I was ejected from my vehicle, rolling on the road, watching my vehicle kind of continue to sputter off. Um, you know, I just thank God that, uh, uh, you know, I'm here. His, uh, you know, he spared me and, and has uh, allowed me to continue to live my life. And you said when you get hit, your whole family got hit. You all had to adjust, and you did, and you're a civilian. And now you're inspiring the Giants. What about your story inspires this football team? Well, I, first of all, I'm, I'm actually still on active duty. Uh, um, I continue to serve. I'm currently serving as the director of the uh, United States Army Wounded Warrior Program. Um, as, in terms of just sharing my story with the Giants, it, it's really about perspective, I think. Um, and so, um, you know, having played football in college. At, at I, Army. At That's Army. Um, I've been able to maybe draw on, on the parallels of playing football uh, with those in my, in experiences in the Army. And can, dare I say it's working? Two Super Bowl rings, you're about to get another ring tonight. They consider you part of the team. Uh, what an extraordinary life you've lived, and the best is yet to come. Oh, thank you. Thank well, you very much. And, Colonel, I look forward to getting the movie. And if I use your name, will I get a discount, or am I still going to have to pay full freight and $9 for a popcorn? Well, we'll see what we can do for you. All right. Thanks All right, a lot. So, Colonel, stick around. We're going to uh, wrap things up in just a moment. Fox and Friends returns. Thanks.